Hi, this is Jeff Van West for IFR Magazine and AvWeb, and maybe you're one of the many pilots who uses AirNav.com or AOPA's online planner to look up instrument approach procedures. It's really handy because they're right there in the list for the airport, but occasionally you'll see something like this. The ILS or localizer runway 4 right changed. Ever wonder what's changed? Well, wonder no more. You can find out at the FAA's AeroNav Services website. If you want to get there, it's just aeronav.faa.gov, and it'll change to this little address that you see at the top of the screen. On the left, you'll find free digital products. Click that, and then click the Digital Terminal Procedures Publication, which is the fancy word for a digital version of your approach chart book. One of the cool things about AeroNav is that you can actually see procedures before they are officially published. This is the upcoming procedural cycle. But we want to look at something in the current cycle and find what changed from the last one. So we'll tap on the appropriate cycle and you see a map. If you want, you can tap on a state in the map. And then you can choose from whatever city you want. Or if you know the identifier, you can just type in the identifier even on that first page. By the way, it's the FAA identifier not the ICAO one. Leave out the K. Here's a list of all the procedures for, in this case, Boston Logan. One of the interesting things is you'll see this flag column. A means it was added this cycle, so this hotspot chart is actually a new original issuance. We're going to go down to the ILS runway 4 right. You see there's a C for changed. If you just click on the main link, you'll get the standard PDF approach plate for the airport, which you can review and you can print out at your leisure. If you click on the compare link, you'll get a PDF with two approach plates side by side. The old one on the left, the new one on the right. There are three possible kinds of changes on these approach plates. One is what they call a procedural change. For this ILS approach, the circling minima have changed. They've gone from 640 in a mile for cats A and B up to 940 in a mile and a quarter for cat A and 1,000 and 1.5 and for cat B. A pretty significant change. There are also changes that might be what they call non-procedural, but they're new to the plate. For example, on the left, you see this open space that's been marked with the magenta dashed line. On the right, you'll see this magenta dash line around 10266. That means that this new plate was issued on the 10th year, or 2010, on the 266th day. They used to have that kind of coding in the lower left of the plate, but they've changed it for us mere mortals now so that it actually has a date that we might all recognize, the 23rd of September, 2010. Another procedural change on this plate was up here in the notes section. Over on the right, it says circling to runway 14 not available. That's a new procedure. But what's interesting is that the magenta dashed line is going around this whole area. And no matter how close you look, the missed approach procedure hasn't changed, the runway lights haven't changed, and they didn't change the name of the airport. So why is this entire thing marked? Well, it's because when they added some text, it moved the other boxes. Take a look at where this line lines up with the N of Boston. And over on the old plate, it lines up with the O of Boston. That's what they call a pixel change. It just means that something moved on the plate. Sometimes it's the altitude for a tower or the position of the frequency box that the cartographer moved to a more convenient location. This system of comparing plates is totally automated. So it will catch every difference, even if something moved only one pixel. And you might rack your brains trying to figure out what the difference is. Don't stress over it. It's probably just that something shifted ever so slightly during the publication. There are a lot more things you can find at the AeroNav website, including takeoff minimums, alternate minimums, an online airport facility directory, and even prototype approaches that might be coming to an airport near you but we'll have to save those for a later video. I'm Jeff Van West for AvWeb and IFR Magazine. Thanks for watching.